guys, MJ and Izzy here from Endless RVing. We have a really important video for you tonight and we're going to cover a couple different things. And the biggest thing is we want you to participate in this down below in the comments. We want your feedback on what we're gonna get into and your thoughts about this whole thing. This is a very unfortunate incident that happened. Thank God it had a positive outcome, but we're gonna talk, kind of break it down, talk about some things that may be developing because of this incident and what you can do to stay safe from something like this happening. And we promise that we're going to end this video on a positive note. You may or may not have heard of this. Uh, back on September 29th, there was a nine-year-old girl abducted at a campground while her family was camping. And the details since this abduction have become more clear, although there's not many exact details, there's, there's certainly more than was known when this first happened. So this happened back on September 29th and it happened in New York State. The girl that was abducted was a nine-year-old girl. Her name is Charlotte. I don't know if it's Sina or Senna. Senna. I'm not quite sure. And this happened in Moreau Lake State Park in Saratoga County, about 50 miles north of Albany. So officials at the press conference on October 2nd said that Charlotte had been, quote, no more than two-tenths of a mile from her family's campsite while on the bike ride, which should have taken about four minutes or five minutes. Her family then realized she was missing about 15 minutes later when she didn't return. Now there's some different stories out there. The story is that she was riding with her friends and she wanted to do one last loop without her friends and then she went missing. Her bike was found by her family at 6.45 p.m. And at that point, her mother immediately called 911 and an Amber Alert was issued. As a result of this Amber Alert and, and really good work by law enforcement in New York, Charlotte was found safe two days later, a, a suspect Craig Nelson Ross Jr. was arrested, charged with first degree kidnapping. How he was found, and this is just coming from the news, uh, a couple of things. He, he already had a history, he was in the system, but uh, Mr. Ross left a ransom note. Fingerprints were found on their mailbox as well as on the piece of ransom note that he left also real quick he drove to their house correct if you're wondering how they got the ransom he drove to the house and left it in the mailbox now there's really. there's no details whether he knew the family he got an address from the girl we don't know those details but the police were able to ping all cell phone activity in the area and they were able to match that fingerprint with him they knew his phone was in the area he was subsequently arrested at his mother's house living in a trailer in his mommy's backyard charlotte was found safe and she was reunited with her family now this next part of the video is kind of where we want you guys to express your feelings about what we're going to discuss this incident has led now to proposed legislation in new york which could really change the way campgrounds run as a result because politicians always they always have to react really quick and i don't necessarily think this is bad legislation but we want to bring it to you so as a result of this senator jim tedisco he's a republican out of saratoga springs which includes Moreau lake state park he has proposed legislation that would mandate that all state parks campgrounds and recreational facilities to have security cameras at the entrance and exits our personal opinion we, we don't think that's a bad thing not only for for child security but just knowing who's coming in and out of these these places is, is kind of important and the reality is believe it or not you're surrounded by cameras all the time i mean the amount of homes with personal cam security cameras rings dash cams people with phones you're, I, I know this pretty intricately because where I work, cameras solve a lot of crimes. They rarely prevent crimes, but they solve a lot of crimes. The New York State Parks, there's about 180 parks in the system. About 60 to 70 out of the 180 have security cameras. Now, I don't know how many of them work. Like government's notorious for having equipment that doesn't work. I found that many times you're like, wow, this suspect definitely came through here. Look, the city has a camera and the camera doesn't work, right? So, or you can't even make out. Oh yeah, it's just a terrible it. camera. So we want your feedback here because we know how we feel. I, I, we are very comfortable with that in ter because of what Izzy does for a living, but we know it wouldn't bother us. Questions for you. Do you feel security cameras at parks, entrances and exits are an invasion of your privacy? Let us know down below. And again, it's not in the campground itself. Mm -hmm. It's not in the bathrooms. It's in the entrance and exits. I don't know how much safer it actually makes people because there's cameras everywhere. There's cameras all over New York City. There's cameras everywhere. People still commit crimes. Knowing that there's cameras, it doesn't really matter. What it does help is maybe being able to solve a crime. 
which is where we want to get into is more preventing these kind of things. And this is not Monday, Monday morning quarterbacking anybody, but we did a video about RV safety, security. We'll link it above. This was probably two years ago. One of the things we talked about in there, because we've seen this so many times and it's, it's, it's really concerning. If you have children, you got to keep an eye on your children. The only reason why we say is how many times have we had young kids, like five, six, seven years old, come up to us, they just start talking. They tell you everything. Many times at campgrounds, this has happened, not only just at our campsite, where they'll ride their bike right up to mm -hmm. you, but at the pool area or just walking around where there's no parents in sight. And no. these are very, very young and trusting and naive children. As they should be, and, that's their, right. their age. And we always comment like, wow, it's, it's scary to see these kids left alone. We go camping to get away. If we go to a campground and there is 30 or 40 campsites, those are 30 or 40 individual apartments with, you know, it could be two people, three people, one, but you don't know who your neighbor is. Granted, most of them are great, but statistically speaking, there may be a couple of people that are not so nice in there. And it's no different than if you sent your child out, you know, knocking on strangers' doors. That's our feeling. And we were talking too, not only are these 30 or more apartments, but they're apartments that can be hooked up. They're mobile. And gone in, in a matter of minutes. As, as somebody that's been in law enforcement and has worked in specific units that deal with, with child exploitation, it, it's very concerning. So for parents out there, it's not a lecture. You wanna trust people, but there's there's bad people out there. And, and again, we see these kids out there and every time I see it, it's, you know, we always ask, go, where are your parents? You know, mm -hmm. and, and they're nowhere to be found. And they'll tell you everything. They'll tell you where their parents are, how many are there. It's, it's very very scary so just keep that in mind now we said we we're gonna end this on a positive note so we have something for free for you it's not a trick or anything it's for motorhome owners though sorry guys but if you have a trailer or something else as many of you know if you follow us we have a good relationship with National Indoor RV Center and as many of you know we will be going to their Music City Motorhome Expo next June from June 4th through 7th it's going to be an absolute blast we've talked about this Just on outside Nashville. multiple occasions yeah right outside Nashville it's going to be so much fun if you don't know what the Motorhome Expo is it's going to be an all inclusive VIP experience for anybody looking to purchase a motorhome or just wants to go and have fun. And it's going to be meals included and, and entertainment and full drinks hookups. and full hookups. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And it's going to be limited to like three to 400 people. Right. right. And we're going to be there and you're going to be able to see all the new 2025 models before they hit anywhere, right. which is pretty awesome. And talk to all the manufacturers and, and all the reps will be there and everything. But what we're giving away today for free is a free membership to the all-inclusive motorhome club which is the aim club if you've heard that um, about nirbc so is he's gonna tell you just a little bit about what that is if you don't know but you if you have a motorhome you can get a free membership today so the all-inclusive motorhome club essentially is a club right like kind of like you have your different motor coach clubs but this is through national indoor rv center you didn't have to purchase a motorhome from them to be a member of the club but they have different meetings and outings throughout the country the next one i don't know when this video is going to come out but it's october 16th through 20th it's called fall in love with massachusetts it is one of the nicest places that i've heard at normandy farms we, pe several people have told us about this in place. In Foxborough, Massachusetts. So, yeah, they always stay at a really nice place. And what you get, you get you, the rally, of course, your full hookups, happy hour, beer, wine. You have most, if not all, your meals are covered. You get education, right? Because they're going to have different manufacturer reps there seminars, to give you education. Seminars. And, yep. Uh, nightly entertainment. And then your four to five days of camping. Plus, you get to meet other people and they have games and all that stuff. We haven't been to one. We're, we're going to go to one in 2024. Mm -hmm. But if you read the reviews about it, like, these things sell out. People go crazy for them. Put in the comments if you've been to an AIM rally and let everybody know what you think about it. So Chuck Lasley, who works with NIRBC, he's the organizer of a lot of these AIM rallies. Great guy, we've met him, been with him a number of times. He's been referring to AIM as a high adventure RV club. So they do a ton of excursions that are very unique. And it's usually activities that people won't or can't do on their own. So if you choose not to go to a rally, that's not in your book, so you don't have the time, the free membership you're going to get, all you have to do is sign up for it. There's still a lot of benefits just to that membership. For example, 
$25 off a full generator service, $50 off a full engine service. There's money off wash and detail, paint and body work, ceramic coating, all different emergency roadside services and more and more discounts. So you want to know how to get it for free. You're going to go to aimclub.org and then you'll put in the discount code ERV aim 23 and that will get you one year free membership so that's ervaim 23 correct if that's too much we're going to give you a link we're going to put in the description if you click on that link it'll take you right to the same website and it'll do the discount code automatically but we want to stress this is only good through the end of the year in the comments below guys let us know your thoughts about everything we discussed in this video what are your thoughts about the situation that happened with the girl thank god again that she was safe and let us know your thoughts on these cameras and the legislation that's being proposed what are your true thoughts on that do you feel it's an invasion of privacy are you all for it let us know in detail down below also have you seen what we're talking about at campgrounds kids roaming around if so put that in the comments and then what do you do to stay safe not only campground but while you're out on the road put that in the comments and then one more comment we're going to ask you to put have you been to any aim rallies and leave this comment for us because we've never been to them but we've gotten comments that people love them we signed up for the aim club we do plan on going to one one in 24 and then we'll be able to bring it to you and then if you want more videos on RV security from a cop we're gonna link a video right over here on the left